Hi there, I hope your Thursday is going along nicely. If it is, chances are you got to continue that extended vacation. Yeah, it is nasty out there. The winter weather advisory remaining in effect for the entire viewing area through 4 p.m. this afternoon. They've extended the advisory up into Metro Detroit, but Southeast Michigan, Northwest Ohio, it's been quite the snow event. By midnight last night, we saw 6.8 inches officially at Toledo Express. The snows continued overnight, mainly light, but really hard to measure because the winds have been howling. Sub-zero wind chills, in fact, some double di digit sub-zero wind chills early this morning. The snows will continue to work their way in here. Again, a light snowfall event, it's just been the duration. Uh, we're gonna see another couple of inches this morning before we start to see things wrap up as we get into this afternoon. And a mean north wind develop and temperatures plunge after midday highs in the mid-teens. So yes, widespread light snow this morning coming down sideways. The real issue is going to be as we head through the day today, the drifting of the snow, especially out in the country, rural locations, especially east west facing roads. We're going to see snow drifts two, three, four feet high. Some roads may become impassable as we get into this afternoon. When the snows begin to finally wrap up and this storm heads for the eastern seaboard, we're going to see midday highs in the mid teens. We'll be down into the single digits by the time we get into this evening. Uh, five, six, seven o'clock temperatures getting into the single digits. The winds stay up overnight. We'll get sub zero for temps. Wait till you see the wind chills by dawn on Friday. We'll show you those here in just a second. But we'll dry things out during the day on Friday. We'll see some sunshine. Highs barely going to get into the double digits Friday afternoon. The winds will finally relax Friday night. We'll get a reprieve Saturday. We'll start cold, but try to get into the mid and upper 20 Saturday afternoon. And then another troublemaker heads our way Saturday night into Sunday. Could be another major snowstorm. Not as long in duration, but more intense snow. And it could be the kind of snow you have to shovel by the time we get into your Sunday afternoon. And we aren't done there. We'll explain that on the 10 day. So through the day today, most of the day, sub-zero wind chills. And then as we head through the overnight, temperatures go below zero. Check out what the wind chills do by the time we get into dawn on your Friday. We're talking between 20 and 30 below. Our model here is saying 28 below feels like temperature at 7 a.m. on Friday. That is danger territory. Don't forget about your pets. Uh, make sure you don't let them out for very long if they're headed out. And wind chills on Friday, in spite of sunshine, only going to get, well, as warm as maybe five below. That's going to be about it. It's just going to be a nasty day Friday. In spite of sunshine, the winds will continue out of the north and blow that snow around. Drifting is going to be a problem on Friday. In spite of the snow being done by a good, uh, you know, 18 to 24 hours, uh, we'll continue to see problems with the snow in the form of drifts. 17, the midday high, as we see the, uh, the snow finally wind down after a good 48 hours of continuous light snowfall, adding up to in spots 10 inches. The snow finally dwindles this afternoon, but it becomes windy and very cold. By the time we get into this evening, we'll be down into the single digits for temps, and we will see wind chills plunge to 20 degrees below zero by daybreak Friday with an actual low of four below in the glass city. We'll top out at 11 with sunshine on Friday, but the wind will blow until late in the day. Light wind Saturday will start out cold, but make a run at the upper 20s. And then Saturday night into Sunday, it looks like another potentially major snowstorm heads in here. And behind that, the coldest air we've seen in years worked its way in here for the beginning, the first half of next week. Tuesday morning's lows, the actual temps could get down to 11, 12, 13 below zero. We'll top out around zero for highs Tuesday afternoon. Slow moderation and maybe even another storm headed our way, another snowstorm. Stay tuned on that. Take care if you're headed out. Make sure you've got a good uh, kit in your car to keep you safe. We will see uh, some problems on the roadways, potentially people getting stuck out there, and we're heading into dangerous cold as far as temperatures and wind chills go. So a lot of challenges. The big thing today will be drifting and the sub-zero wind chills. Uh, take it easy on the roadways if you do have to head back to the office or school and uh, keep your fingers crossed about a troublemaker potentially headed our way on Sunday. Thanks for joining us for your web forecast. Have a good day. I'm meteorologist John James.